Next up, we have another method called splice. It's quite a bit different than slice, even though they sound similar. Splice is also a little trickier to understand. There are at least three different values that we can pass in. So in short, what it does is it either removes elements or replaces elements or adds in new elements in an array. So usually you would do it in the middle of an array because if you were just trying to remove or add to the beginning or end, we already have push, pop, shift, and unshift. But if you want to update the middle of an array or add something like right here, you could use splice. So there are three arguments. We have the start index, then how many things you want to delete, and then whatever you want to insert. So you don't have to insert anything and you don't have to delete anything, but those are the three values. So let me show you a couple examples. Here I have the same animals array. Let's say I wanted to insert something after shark. So I can call animals.splice, and then the first argument is where I want to start either removing or inserting. And then the second argument is how many things to delete. You can see the hint I'm getting here in my console. So the start index, how many should you delete? We're going to delete zero because I'm simply adding in something at index of one. And what would make sense to add here? Let's do another thing that swims. How about octopus? Okay, we'll look at animals, and now you can see shark, then octopus. Also notice splice returned an empty array. This is because I didn't delete anything. If I did delete something, it would return to me those deleted values. So let's try using it just to delete, not to insert. So how about we delete, uh, let's go with whale and bear. So we want to start at this index, which is 0, 1, 2, 3. So animals.splice, starting at index of 3. How many things do we want to delete? 2, and we won't insert anything. So if I do this, you can see it returns to me an array containing the two deleted items, and now animals is two items shorter. OK, so we've seen two use cases. You can insert values. We just inserted one, but we could insert multiple. If I did the same thing, animals.splice, and let's insert, uh, how about in between salmon and lizard, we'll add a couple values. So we would do index of two, because zero, one, two gives us salmon. Actually, if I want to go in between salmon and lizard, I should actually start inserting at index of three so that I can keep salmon where it is. We will remove zero, and then let's add in uh, snake, and what's another, uh, I guess a frog. Okay, look at animals now, and we have octopus, salmon, and then snake, frog, and then back to lizard and tortoise. So we've seen how to use it to insert something or multiple values. You just make sure you remove zero. You do have to put that zero there, otherwise you would confuse splice because it would see snake as the next value and think this is the number of items to delete because the second argument is always supposed to be the number of things to delete. It's not smart enough to figure out, oh, that's a string. It's all order dependent. We can also use it to delete as we've seen, like here, you start with index of three, we wanna delete two things, but we can also use it to replace. So for some reason, let's say I want to replace shark and octopus with uppercase versions, I could do this, animals.splice. Here, I'll clear this so we have more room up top. Okay, so animals.splice, and I will start at index of zero. I want to delete two items, and here are the replacements, shark and octopus. There we go. And let's look at animals. Now we have shark and octopus at the start. All right, I wrote up uh, a little bit of notes here. If you take a look at the downloaded code or the downloadable code, up top I have the basic pattern we need to follow, start index, the count of how many things to delete, and then optionally a bunch of items to insert or one item. So here's the first use case we saw, inserting with splice, where you wanna start inserting, we'll delete nothing, and we'll add in octopus, so we end up with this. Then we saw deleting, where we don't insert anything, we just say start at index five, delete count is two, so we end up deleting two items, lizard and tortoise. 
And then replacing with splice combines all of that, where we start with an index, we say delete two things, and then also add two things in at that same index, so we're effectively replacing items in the middle of the array. So splice is very powerful. In my experience, you still use push and pop and shift and unshift far, far more often than you will use splice, but splice is nice in those situations, splice is nice in those situations when you need to do something in the middle of an array or you need to uh, delete a big chunk or replace a chunk instead of working with one item at a time like push and pop.